The three main tools in the reverse engineering tool set in ANSYS Discovery are Extract Curves, Skin Surface, and Auto Skin. Extract Curves can be used when you have a plane intersecting a facet body. This will allow you to extract the curves of the mesh cross-section. Using that cross-section, and perhaps a series of cross-sections, you can then use the Fill tool to get a surface section. Or use the Blend tool to create the outer shape of the body. The Skin Surface tool is the foundation of the reverse engineering tools. With it, you can create patches that conform to a mesh. Completing a skin surface will result in a NURB surface that conforms to the original mesh. The sample size equates to how closely you want the skin surface to conform to the mesh. The higher the sample size, the higher fidelity of the skin surface result. But it will take longer to generate. You can box select to place a skin surface, or you can manually make a skin surface patch. Manual skin surface patches can have three or four bounding vertices. For a manual patch, click one time to place the first vertex, then click once to create a bounding guide point for the skin surface. You can add as many yellow guide points as you like to determine the outer edge boundary of the skin surface patch. To place another vertex, Double click. Continue the process until you have three or four main vertices. Once you make a closed loop, you will see a preview of the skin surface patch appear. Click the green check mark to complete the operation. Once you have made a skin surface patch, you can use the existing geometry to make another patch. Notice here how if I start by clicking on an existing skin surface vertex, I can begin another skin surface patch line, place the remaining corners of the skin surface, then get back to close the surface here. Once you close the final vertex, you will see the skin surface preview appear. Click the green check mark. You can continue to use this methodology to completely reverse engineer a mesh body. However, a quicker way to get skin surface sections is to use skin surfacing between planes. Create a series of parallel planes along a part. When you use the skin surface tool, select one plane and control select the other. And notice a preview for the entire section in between the planes is generated. Click the green check mark. Hide the mesh bodies from the structure tree and you can see how this tool is working. Similar to the manual skin surface creation, we can work off of existing patches. So let's make another plane and activate the skin surface tool. This time, select the new plane and then control select the existing edge from the previous patch. And you can see we can successfully make a new patch. For cylindrical parts or parts without strange overhangs, this method works quite well. If you have a part where the planes are intersecting two separate profiles, using this method will prompt you to pick which sections of profile you want to patch between. AutoSkin is the final main reverse engineering tool in ANSYS Discovery. Like the name suggests, you can turn a facet body into a solid body in one click. However, there are some preliminary steps that should be taken. First, it is good practice to shrink wrap the part to make the facets consistent. Then, make sure to clean up any remaining defects in the mesh. Depending on the type of mesh shape, AutoSkin should be able to make a solid body using a series of automatic skin surface patches. You can see how ANSYS Discovery patches this shape automatically. The trade-off of using AutoSkin for a quick solid solution is the resulting solid will have somewhat random faces that do not foster further traditional geometry editing. But if you are looking for a quick way to reverse engineer an STL mesh body, it is an extremely useful option. 
This completes the overview of the reverse engineering tools in ANSYS Discovery. In the next lesson, we'll put all of this knowledge to the test to reverse engineer a product scan from start to finish.